Hi, welcome to SBR Sports Fix. His name is Mike Brenner. My name is Peter Loshak. We come to you from sportsbookreview.com. Hashtag Ask oh, SBR. Serious this is look. Co- yeah, this is the co- Well, listen, on, you know, I can joke around on Mondays or whatever, but I look at like a 50-game slate of, you know, yeah. college basketball games. It's serious. We're trying to uh, get through as much as we can. Let's throw the record up. Mike Brenner, uh, yesterday, uh, we nailed it with Pitt. Yes. And then uh, in the show, in the show, I was like, should I throw on St. Louis? I was like, And you know what? The I first did, yeah. score I checked was St. Louis. Yeah. And they were up. Do you know what? It was like 20 to 1 when they started yeah. the game. I swear I to know, God, they were know, burying them. I know. So, but uh, but in the video, I did say that I like the pit pick a lot more. So yes. I think in general we have a, a handle on this. Uh, you know, getting, uh, yeah, feeling you know, good. The thing is, you can always make a good argument for, for for both sides of these for most of these games. You know, yeah. So, uh, yeah. And also uh, last uh, yeah. night I had two power picks. One mm-hmm. was an NBA mm-hmm. uh, with Toronto that mm-hmm. did not cover. We'll mm-hmm. get into that later. Mm-hmm. But the other was Kentucky on the first half. Nice. And when it went from seven and a half to eight, some guys were like, "Man, that's too much." Because we got the chat room mm-hmm. going on with all yeah. that. And I was like, "Guys, I, I really still I believe in it." You know. Yeah. And they did. They came out. It was that revenge factor, mm-hmm. and they buried him. I don't know if they covered the full game. Probably. Uh, I yes, I think they did. Yeah, okay. I don't. Right. But I think uh, Kentucky's yes, yeah, getting in did. that zone, Pete. But these one and duns and so forth. This is when they start to gel for mm-hmm. Kentucky. I think that was a big win for them yesterday. Yeah. So moving okay, forward. Okay. Nice though. job there. All right. So on today's card, there's a lot of games, and uh, there's about five or six that I bet on the overnight, and I think I'll okay. I think I'll give them all. The first one. Yeah. Let's just start off with uh, one of them because I like to start off with the with the marquee games. One okay. of my picks from the overnights that I did take. Uh, is in Duke and Virginia. Whoa. And uh, I'm thinking that, you know, look, Virginia might get a six, seven, eight point win here, but I think the percentages are with Duke. And I took Duke at five and a half on yeah. the overnight. Got a nice line. Now it's down to four and a half or five. Wow, and I did. will you take beat Duke. That. Five. Look, Virginia's yeah. a good team, great team. Uh, but Duke, as we know, healthy, you know, they're still a little bit up and down, but I think. And they're coming off of a win against Clemson that was like this yeah. close, and they're not happy about that. And you know, yeah. Coach K got in their head. So I think that might be a, a little too much. I will yeah. be using them in a teaser. We'll okay. get to that later right so I'm going to take it at plus yeah. five and this is yeah. just one where it's like uh, again and Virginia Tech just I mean Virginia just got wore out by yeah. Virginia Tech so they might be a little empty in the tank I just I just think it's it's, it's exactly like the uh, or similar to the uh, the uh, the West Virginia uh, oh boy, who, what game was it? West Virginia Baylor right it was, it was just like listen yeah. I think it's going to go down to the wire if it's going down to the wire and you're getting a cushion of five points the I think points will the make play. the yeah. difference good, all right good, so good. I'm going to take Duke there you go you're and warming then, up uh, pistol I can yeah, feel it baby I think it's a decent play now let's go down some of the other interesting well let's talk about South Carolina we talk about them all the time because you yeah. had a particularly good read on them. I have no opinion on their game today. Uh, it's eight or eight and a half over Arkansas. You have yeah. any opinion no, on that I one? No, I don't because right. uh, that's just too many points, mm-hmm. I think. I think, if anything, I would lean Arkansas with the points. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I do. I have. A, I think I have a good feel for South Carolina. But that offense doesn't blow teams away yeah. too often that, you know, they're settling and that's where they mostly focus on defense. I think Arkansas might be up for this game. I was even thinking about going the other way. But, Pete, I can't. I just okay. have a hard time fading Frank Martin. Yeah. Too, so. Next one. I noticed in my notes that I have a lot of my notes uh, – and again, that looks like Dan yeah, Wama. Yeah, if yeah. you saw his notes, it looks like code from a back yeah. office. He's like making, uh, uh, he's building web pages or something. I have a lot of notes here. There's a lot of like games today where uh, where, where where the two teams already met once this year, and one of the teams blew the other one out Ooh, by 50 points. Someone, uh-oh, this could <laughs> and, uh, be so revenge. There's a lot of those. There's a lot of, or yeah. or it means that like they, they don't match up. Well, again. One of yeah. them is Cincinnati and South Florida, and wow. South Florida actually covered uh, three out of their last four, but they already played at Cincinnati earlier this year, got blasted Didn't by 40, good. and Cincinnati. Uh, uh, and, uh, and Cincinnati, of course, is coming off of their loss, straight-up loss to SMU, so maybe they'll be pissed. They're a 19-point road favorite. I think I'm going to hold off on this one, but it's definitely interesting. You have a, you have a pick on this one. Cincinnati, pissed yeah, yeah, SMU. I mean, yeah. Pissed SMU. Yeah. First half, Pete, it should yeah. be 11. Talk to me. Best shop line. No, I'm pulling yeah. the trigger. They're uh-huh. pissed. They're going to take it out on you, you, uh, USF. Real, real early and often. Well, it's uh, it's eleven and a half. Eleven. And a, I'm taking it. Do Minus not. I think it's fifteen at halftime, mm-hmm. buddy. They're pissed, and from what I read, they're ready to take the mm-hmm. floor. They were not whatsoever pleased with that performance. They lost sixty to fifty one at SMU, and they know they had opportunities. Yeah. They damn near gave that thing away. Yeah. Pull that trigger, <laughs> pistol. Right, eleven and a half minus one hundred eight. And again, they did blast them yeah. by forty earlier. Yeah, and again, on this year. Kentucky. I, that first half, I really felt they yes, would be pissed. Yeah. I feel yeah. Cincinnati's going to feel the same way, Pete. Hell, that might go south. I might yeah. get blown out in this pick. We're but. seeing a lot of those. We saw that with with Villanova. Blowing yes. out DePaul in the first yes. half, and then didn't, and then exactly. DePaul in the second half. Even the, uh, the the St. Louis game, Dayton blasted yes. the first half, and St. Louis covered the second and half. And they so sure did. A lot of and this, you know yeah. what I think it is? I think a lot of it, Pete. This time of the year, mm-hmm. the emotion comes out mm-hmm. a little stronger because you're mm-hmm. you're approaching yeah. conference tournament, which behind that is the big dance. So yeah. you know. Then we got an interesting one, Maryland and Northwestern. 
I'm Ooh, staying off of this one, too. but uh, ten yeah. foot pole for me. Ten foot pole, and then uh, let's keep on moving on. This one, a yeah. very interesting one. Creighton at Seton Hall. Now Creighton yeah. has definitely picked it up after losing uh, their point guard, uh, and Seton Hall has underwhelmed. Of course, they returned most of their team from the Big East Championship uh, uh, winner happened? last year. Well, yeah, and they're just underwhelming a little bit or or a lot. Uh, obviously, Creighton is, is, is tempting at minus one half, but this has trap written all over it, Mike Brenner. I'm I know. Thinking, I'm thinking, and you yeah. know what? I wrote it on there. It was one of my very first yeah. picks, Pete. But then the more I started thinking about it and looking into it, because you know, Creighton, and again, it's coaching. McDermott's doing a great job. They have absolutely plugged that hole, losing their point guard. But yeah. the word trap is yeah. written all over it. And again, Seton Hall, when you're returning all those those seniors and so forth, or those players from last year, you know, something's got to start clicking yeah. somewhere. So why not today at home on your own home yeah. court, right? Yeah, I'm yeah. off. Got yeah. it. It's so t- tough because Creighton is 7-1 and one ATS on the road, and yep. their last two road games were massive margin Big covers. Time. So yeah. uh, this is a really tough to take Seton Hall. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold off for now. Then we have uh, North Carolina and NC State, another wow. game where uh, or they played earlier this year. North Carolina beat them by 50. Yeah, 50. Not, not, not five. Bl- blew 50. them out, yeah. yeah. So I don't know. North Carolina State plus 10.5. I'm staying off that one. But, I'm uh, jumping you, all over the are? very okay. first okay. half okay. with North Carolina. Pete, give me the best shot line. I'm thinking it's going to be about six. UNC is off a of four straight ATS loss. Which I understand, bit, uh, and yeah. I think the first half is when they are going to come out yeah. again in a rivalry game. Um, I don't think State's going to get up for this for All some right. reason. I think they've just been getting beaten up by too many teams, not just the last okay. time they played UNC. Well, the Chris books have five and a half. So I'm we'll taking give you that it. One five and a half I'm minus 110. It. And you know what? I think that UNC knows well enough. They mm. better go in and establish the pace, get the momentum going, and control the flow of that game in the first half. If not, then, you take, you, then you're getting the, you're, you're stepping into that zone where the home crowd okay, of mm-hmm. an in-state rival might start having its effect. So they want to nip that in the bud in the first half. Yeah, That's my sure, breakdown. Sure, sure, sure. All right, then. Uh, the next one that's interesting is uh, one that I did take on the overnight. Uh, St. John's has covered five in a row, and Butler, a good team. They've actually slumped a little bit recently, ATS yeah. wise. I actually took a shot with St. John's I, plus yep. 11. Wouldn't now it's down to 10 and a half. Yep. What do you think, Mike? Brady? I you wouldn't talk this? you off that yeah. ledge, and I mean it. Chris Mullen has them boys believing, and even though they're not winning outright, but yeah. they're covering ATS, that means they're getting better as a group. And yep. they're obviously, what they've, if you've noticed, last 10 games, their tur- turnover to assist ratio has absolutely mm-hmm. just gone the positive way. That's what's going on. I looked at that game. I just just didn't have the balls to pull the yeah, trigger, yeah. Pete. And Butler, I uh, so yeah, Butler isn't. But I quite am using them on a three, a three teamer. So. Butler isn't quite get. Yeah, Butler yeah. isn't quite getting those double digit wins no. against anyone. Like no, they seeing, seem yeah. to lay off when they get a big lead, and all of a sudden they go into a preventive defense mode. Yeah. Sometimes when you go into preventive defense, all yeah. that prevents sure. you for is getting a fucking win. Yeah, yeah. All right, it's cutting it a little close, Mike Brenner, but I will okay. take St. John. Pull that trigger. Jeez. All right, plus ten and a half, minus one hundred six. Cutting a little bit close. It's just like you know, for our for our for our viewers, I will say like how confident I am. And stuff because I, yeah. you know, I don't want the the wins on the pit first half to be eliminated by the losses on uh, St. Louis. Exactly. Like exactly. But I'll, I'll throw St. John's plus ten and a half. I'm glad right, you brought it. that back up. That that's was a sharp yeah. play. That's it for the big uh, marquee games. Now there's a there's a bunch of other, you know, there's yeah. forty other games tonight. I'm forty gonna, other games. Uh, yeah. You guys better get your pens yeah. and piece of paper and pencils out because Pistol Pete's going to yeah. fill them up for I'm you. I'm going to throw on about five or six more <laughs> plays from from the from the overnights that I took. Hopefully three or four of them will cash. Mike Brenner, before I do that, what do you have for us? Okay, what I'm going to ride with again. I'm going to just review. I'm mm-hmm. going North Carolina on the first half minus yeah. five and a half Cincinnati a pissed off Bearcat mm-hmm. squad minus 11 and a half on the first half and then I'm going to wrap it up with a three team okay, teaser Pete. St. John's okay and then I'm going to go quote the lines right yeah no you yeah. give me St. later St. John's. St. John's Duke and North Carolina mm-hmm. I really okay. think you, you add and subtract numbers from those mm. uh, outright spreads and I think we're looking at another ticket cash well wow, so that was your teaser before you're not you're not just copying my St. John's play you mm, like that not at all wow. I almost Very pulled nice. the trigger on 11 yeah, and yeah, on yeah, 11. I, hear you. I, hear, I did bet it on the overnight yeah, no, I, I think you won overnight. on that yeah, yeah. St. John's I'm telling yeah. you Chris Mullins getting into their heads yeah. he, he's a fucking champion yeah. that sure, kid sure, so sure, sure. Yeah. all right so that's probably making you feel better about your St. John's yeah a little bit definitely definitely what friends are for baby that's what friends are for we see when you when you like an underdog like like a the Clipper uh, in the NBA a couple nights ago, so a lot of times. Uh, awesome, Pete, I awesome still, problem. I wish I could. Yeah. All right, so uh, let's see. Uh, I'll get, I'll give some of my picks. The first one go. that I'm going to give uh, George Washington. I took him on the over, and I got eight. Now it's down yeah, to, uh, now it's down to seven. Aren't, aren't they uh, playing? Um, they're playing Jesus. Davidson. They're yeah. at Davidson, and I'm just not quite seeing Davidson as uh, they've lost their last three in a row. ATS. Yeah. Uh, George Washington uh, was. There, there's one of these teams. A lot of times you see this in college basketball. George Washington was a bad bet for most of the year. Last two games they covered, and they mm. might be turning a little bit of a corner ATS wise. And uh, I'm thinking that. I'm uh, wondering if Paul. Hughes 
Hewitt's still coaching out there. And shame on me for not knowing mm -hmm. that. But remember him, he won that took Georgia Tech to the title mm -hmm. years ago. He was at G G uh, GW. But you know what? You said it right. Providence has not been that commanding force. Davidson. Uh, Davidson. I mean, Davidson. Yeah, yeah. And especially not on their home court like they were. Yeah, yeah. And if I'm correct, it is three or four ATS they have not covered yeah, in a row. So Davidson, uh, yeah, very underwhelming. So I'll take that one. That's one of the picks I made. Okay. Then another one I made, Mike Brenner, uh, Wichita State is starting to become the yes, Wichita State that of we old, do. Yep. getting some serious blowout wins, yeah. serious margin covers. Southern <laughs> Illinois, they're playing Southern Illinois two and six over their last eight, and, and Wichita State, you know, they've been 50 50 50 ish uh, ATS overall, but they can get double digit road That's wins, division, even over yeah. good MVC teams. I'm not sure how I want, and, and this is another one. They played Southern Illinois earlier this year, blasted, blasted them by 40. Them. They, points, they killed so. them. It was for 39 or 40, they beat them by Pete. I got to say this, and you've said this mm -hmm. before, Wichita State. All right, this is a team, let's not forget, they had some good recruiting coming in and sure. still have some good players. That's why they were where they were. I think it's similar to what's going on with other teams that are returning starters finally going, wait a minute, what the hell? Yeah. You know, it's time. I like that play. I really I'm think Wichita State – I'm thinking whether I should State, take them – are they going to pull – because sometimes Wichita State actually does pull away second half. Yeah, they do. They, second, yeah. They're a strong second half team. Yeah. Let's not forget that. And you know what? You said something earlier. Shit, I already forgot. I wanted mm -hmm. to repeat it for that. Uh, yeah. All right. Oh, I'll no, it was this. You said, hey, this team's becoming the team that we love, the, uh, the old ticket casher for us. Yeah. Remember, we used to fade one team. Yeah. Well, Wichita State starting to become that team you start favoring again. All right, I'll throw it on there. I'll take the Pull Greek. that trigger! The Greek has, has just 13, which is a little bit concerning, okay. but I'll take it. Uh, Wichita State minus 13, minus 110. And then, they're at home, if I'm correct. No, no, no. It's at, it's at Southern it's Illinois. At, but, okay. I mean, they, Wichita State is one of the teams that, like, you know, uh, when on the road, they can still get double-digit wins it over. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. Another one that I'm going to take is... Um, Line a little bit fishy, why they're this big of a dog, but I'm going to take uh, North Dakota State at IPFW. The line mm. is a five and a half, but the Greek has six. Kind of weird because they opened at, uh, at about four and a half, and then, uh, and then it went up to six, so I'm not sure. Or six and a half, actually. I took it at six and a half. Okay. And uh, now it's back down to five and a half or six, so I'm not quite sure what caused all that line move. But I'm going to take North Dakota State plus six, uh, minus 110. Again, okay. another one. Hopefully, I like that yeah. confidence there, Pistol. Come and on. then we got, uh, all right, Creighton, Seton Hall. I'm going to pass. Yeah. I'm, I don't have the I don't have, look, I'm, as you know, I've made some great improvements uh, with ball. Balls, yes. Right. Yes, you have. And have we did not even have to go right? find the big ball right. factory in Absolutely. Punta Cana. Right. So you have made some strides. Pistol. But my balls are not big enough to take Seton uh -oh. Hall tonight. And you know what? Maybe that's just a sharp. <laughs> Maybe that's being smart Maybe. and listening because I think that's got trap written all yeah. over it. It's just yeah. something weird about that. And Creighton could turn around and just blow this team out. I yeah. just don't know. All right. Here's another one, which is one of the ones I think I'm liking uh, more than, 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 than most of my picks tonight. Listen Georgia up Te closely. Well, <laughs> Georgia Tech at Miami, Florida. We've seen wow. Georgia Tech get some surprise upset covers, sure. if not necessarily wins uh, sure. a lot this year. I and think Miami, it was like Duke was one of them. Yeah, they've yeah. gotten you know, on the road and, and, yeah. and at home and stuff. And they're getting – Decent points at Miami, and Miami is, uh, you know, they've had some nice games recently. They're still 3-9 and nine ATS yes, at home. Exactly. They are not not at all the same Miami team of past. They're, they're yeah. getting tired, too. Some of them young kids they have are starting to get tired for the length of this season. Yeah, they're What's good, the line sitting at? It's, it's, that's the thing. I took it at 10 on the oh, overnight. Jesus. The Greek has 10.5. Miami's a good team. They've gotten some nice covers recently, but I'm going to take Georgia Tech plus 10.5. God, I wouldn't uh, talk you off that, is, that yeah, ledge that at all. Yeah, that is the That's the got teaser line. written all over it as well. Yep, Holy yep, yep. Cow. And then, uh, and then the, the only other one that I would was uh, thinking about was uh, Air yeah, I don't Force. believe that word. The well, only yeah, there other one. I was thinking about, but, but seriously, uh, <laughs> hear that, Wama? Yep, here he goes. Air Force. I hear it. <laughs> he hears it. Yeah, yeah. Everyone Put hears it. Everyone heard it. Okay. Tres amigos aquí. <laughs> Air Force. Uh, Air Force is at home against uh, Nevada. Nevada is a very good team this year, but uh, they only played once earlier this year. They uh, Nevada at home won by seven. Uh, Air Force has played some top teams somewhat close at okay. home this year. So uh, I'm going to take Air Force at home, getting five and a half. Hopefully, five and a half. You uh, like that? Yeah. Okay. Hopefully, Nevada doesn't win by seven. Rate, but I'll take it at five and a half. Uh, oh, minus, Air Force. Uh, minus 102 Pistol against uh, Pen uh, at Pet Pinnacle. And that's going to be it for me, Mike Brenner. Okay, well, right. I like those words because we got some other shows yeah, behind yeah, us. Pete, we got, we got, got a lot going on. Keep it, yeah, keep got it rolling. Got some great, great comments last night, and these really? guys loving these shout outs. So thank you, and thank oh, you awesome. for stepping up with Twitter. So that's awesome. tonight, yeah. I guarantee it, guys, I get I, all the workload I had from people telling yeah. me to ask you, talk to you, whatever, has really decreased. So I appreciate mm -hmm. Hey, that pistol. Bye, guys. Yeah, yes. I'm just a little bit upset because last night I did, I tweeted out two totals they split one of them was a great call the other one was a horrible call okay. there were there were like three or four other totals that, that I bet and I liked but it didn't have the balls did publicly. not have the balls and You're they won have to, and they all, right. all cashed but then I then I tweeted out like five or six second half plays and like four or five of them lost so you know, uh, I'm but, gonna ask you know, Morgan and Brittany they might have well, a friend Morgan they could recommend as far as therapy a lady <laughs> with thera to give you some therapy about pulling the trigger on the big balls no pistol. I can tell you who needs to give me therapy okay. is Morgan and Brittany yeah I know oh they, they I need some
Costa Rica. Yeah. So we've been covered up So Morgan and Brittany. I promise we're going to get done what we said we would. I promise I will get on Pistol I'm Pete self, today. I'm self-diagnosing right now. Yeah. Morgan, and, Morgan Brittany. right now is thinking, come on, Brenner. Come on. you got to come through. I told her I'm busier than a one-legged man in an ass-kicking contest, yeah. but we're trying to keep up. But I promise we're going to come through. I'll get Pistol Pete thriving Morgan, as well. Morgan and Brittany is all the therapy I need, baby. That's it, baby. I'll all right, right, Mike now. Brenner. No, God, I, 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 need either, I need either Morgan and Brittany or a nice 6-0 and day ATS in the college. How about we take Brenner. both? That might happen. Hey, both. Come that on, might Pistol. happen tonight. All right, we'll be back tomorrow for the Thursday card. All right, guys, bet responsible. Research before you bet. Be sure to check out SBR Picks for the best game predictions, breakdowns, and much, much more.